I showed you last night how the ABC was going all in and over the top on its coverage of World Pride and the Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras. The coverage was fawning, indulgent and all-pervasive, and it even featured key members of the ABC's news teams seemingly blurring the lines or cross-dressing between coverage, campaigning and reporting. Some viewers have pointed out that this indulgence is far broader than the weekend's events. And they were right. Take a look. The ABC has launched special queer ABC social media accounts and the like, and the gay theme is now being permeated through a range of new programs. Join Zoe Coombs Ma for a history lesson. A whole different history than what I was taught at school. The queer history of Australia. Oh, this should be fun. Each generation has its own story. It's been ignored for so long. Spoiler alert, this queer history is not all rainbows. A lot of fear. I felt like I was the only one. Aboriginal forms of sexuality were eroded. Illegal. Legal. Legal. Queer Australia starts Tuesday, February 28. On... you got to love the ABC. Australia Day bad? Queer Australia Day, good, I suppose. And the latest drama series from the ABC is going to tell the story of the HIV AIDS epidemic. Welcome to Sydney, 1983. It's big and bold and you can get lost here and reinvent yourself. Come on, be bold! This is a party! Item number 267, gay-related immune deficiency. Are you referring to AIDS? Is it something we should be concerned about? Whatever this disease is, it needs to be investigated. Something is killing gay men. And then the ABC is also running a new British series, Butterfly. It's about an 11-year-old boy who wants to become a girl. And viewers have also noticed a distinctly gay theme in the ABC's regular programs. I'm Samuel Yang. And that's enough Mandarin for me. I'm Annie Louie. On the show, World Pride comes to town. But what does life look like for gay people in China? Today on Landline, celebrating diversity among Australia's farmers. I was always given the support and the love from the people around me to know that I never for once thought that anyone was going to reject me. Once I came out, it was really just having the courage to say, well, this is done now. I've just got to get on with life and full steam ahead. Yeah, from China to the bush, the ABC is currently completely obsessed with gay issues. Is it for this week or this month? I don't know. Is it a special world pride effort? Is it to celebrate Mardi Gras? Or is this just the new permanent campaign? But someone's put a big effort in here at ABC programming for some reason. And perhaps the ABC ought to just, you know, tell us what it's up to with our money. But they tend not to bother, do they? Because while you like to think it's your ABC, we all like to think it's our ABC, we actually know in reality it's their ABC and they do as they please.